Hello everybody on YouTube, this is uh, Howard from AV Transfers UK. Um, what are we doing this morning? It's a Monday morning. It is super, super, super cold. I mean, I think it's minus five degrees, minus six degrees. Oh, sorry, tape's just stopped while I'm talking to you. I'm busy doing a whole bunch of Seacam tapes. Seacam to uh, DVD kind of weird hey in fact when I'm talking to you let me just check on the other one that's back here uh, yeah, that one's still going okay um, and at the same time they want mp4s from them so they're going to be copied into mp4 files um, what I'm looking at today oh camera panning is too fast the camera just told me so that is a color bar a set of color bars um, what you're looking at right now is uh, a standard Pell TV. Okay, that noise bar thing is to do more with the camera than the television. And it's coming from a Teletest pattern generator. Just a, a nice, very sweet little handheld pattern generator. Nothing too fancy. Just really nice and portable. And what happens is you can... Um, Generate. I'm trying to get rid of the bar, which is more to do with the camera than anything else. Um, you can generate your own patterns, which is great for just testing your uh, convergence. That's crosshatch. Not really an issue on a TV this size. Um, it's got black and white, grayscale bars, color bars, um, red. That looks like red. It is red, believe it or not. Um, red white black um, I think that's all the colors it's got it's got a very limited set of stuff but just enough to give you a nice clean source if you're busy um, testing something and that's what I'm doing this morning if I wasn't so lazy I'd plug in the audio and you'd hear the the, the, the familiar one kilohertz um, audio soundtrack and what's also nice it's got a S video out and it's got a RF out. I'm just using the video out at the moment. As you can see, a nice bit of kit. I don't think I paid too much for this. The only problem is it really eats batteries. So it's not as portable when you've got to plug it into a, an AC adapter. But what am I showing you today? I'm not actually showing you that. That's just my video source. Stand by. So what am I looking at here? This is a very interesting piece of equipment I bought on, of course, eBay, um, probably about five years ago. It's been sitting in a box. I never found a use for it, but let me explain what it's for. Now, I'm not aware if they use this still in modern sort of espionage or covert operations. Uh, it's not covert operation, covert operations. Oh my goodness, that's what... All this covert stuff does to a person. Covert operations. <laughs> it's a view lock. A view lock. So sometimes in bugging people's um, homes or videoing people uh, in covert situations, either for for legitimate or illegitimate reasons, I guess. Um, I guess up until very recently, analog technology was needed. So you might be setting a camera up in one building and then having someone monitor it in another building remotely over an open socket, over an op open um, frequency that if anyone happened to tune in uh, would pick it up. And the idea being if someone tunes into your analog signal you really don't want them to see what you're viewing or hearing. And that's when this little item comes in. I'm sure they, they still make this. Um, I'm sure they still make this, but, um, well, maybe they don't. But it's a British company, I believe, uh, Ov Ovation, Ovation. And the, I've also got another product of theirs as well, which I'll do in another video. Uh, Oxfordshire, okay, so they made an Oxfordshire. And basically what this is, is it's a little processor. They can encrypt video and audio signals over an open connection. Um, and obviously it's limited to PEL, so, you know, analog video. 
um, and this is what it would be for so you'd have a camera um, in my situation I'm just using a um, using a, a, a signal generator which I've shown you this is the encoder and you would transmit this okay at this point I'm just showing it on a screen but if you transmitted this you could then receive the signal which would be still scrambled and then you could decode it in the decoding television so kind of cool um, the VLOC2 encoder scrambles by digitizing the video input and manipulating it into a digital domain to provide a random cut and rotate each active line the scrambled data is then converted back to analog before being presented presented <coughs> put my tongue back in presented so yeah now you might say oh cut line cut and rotate that sounds a bit like what we used to have on sky tv and you would be right um i think video crypt one did just video and i think video crypt Two did sound as well and maybe this is video crypt 2 um, if you have the optional add on board it'll do sound and picture but this is just a video uh, option so the box looks something like that power signal in signal out and the, the encoder looks the same now I've got the I have not connected the decoder I might do that in a few moments but right now I've got the encoder and uh, that is right now the picture uh, that's just passing through so that's coming from the signal generator now over here is the encoder very simple power in video in video out the video out is going to there and when the power is off it just passes the signal when I put it on some magic happens you want to see you want to see let me hear everyone say oh yeah Ooh. Do we have in the year 2023 January 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 a video crip signal? I think we do. So that is peeping away, people, 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 an actively encoded signal. That, my friends, is a video crypt encoding signal now you can put any video through that anything you like and on the other side you will get your pictures once you decode it but if you happen to be scram looking through um, somebody's uh, frequencies and you find a signal like that that is encrypted i just love that that just brings back a lot of memories of of old-fashioned satellite tv which i used to be very into back in the, the 90s with big three meter dishes and things so now if i change the signal um so that i'm feeding it you'll see it does change that's just a solid color and even with the solid color you see it's doing some amazing stuff there that's another pattern that's another pattern now that almost looks a bit like you can actually see the lines in the one um, aspect not the other if I if I switch it off there you go so that's what's actually going into the encryptor and that's what's coming out I mean how amazing is that how clever is that you know um, and I, I don't want to get sort of sidetracked into the whole video crypt thing and how it was cracked and hacked and what a what a what a um, but wow you know how impressive was that interestingly a solid color remains a solid color you don't really see or well, at least a black or white i guess once i go to a color i think it, uh, it 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 goes a bit wonky the color is also being encoded yeah so that's red there you go and then let me go back to the patterns there we go color bars let's see i can see that's not color because there's no color bits of line on there that must be a color bar so that just shows you the complexity of, of the system. And it got me really excited. Doesn't take much, eh? So I'm just looking here for a... Okay, so there are a couple of switches inside. You can actually configure it to be a decoder or an encoder inside. Okay, that's interesting. So you can make two encoders. decoding dot okay so you can have a dot on screen display video automatic gain control video sync denial 
In it enables a video a higher video scrambling mode where the encoder output has its vertical sync pulse removed. So this is even more hectic than VideoCrypt. This in this mode improves the encrypted video's obscurity and security, but results in a slightly longer lockup time. It can also encode stereo, but only up to seven kilohertz. So not particularly high quality. So I don't know if VideoCrypt, uh, if it was uh, VideoCrypt 2 had, had good quality sound. But these are some of the switches. Audio option. It's really, in, it's very interesting. I'm just fascinated. I wonder if you could get an old VideoCrypt decoder from a skybox to to decode these signals. I know you can do it with um, uh, a hack RF radio. Uh, kit if you know what you're doing but that's sort of a bit beyond my pay grade and if you look at this this came originally with a disc and it was a 3.5 inch floppy disc and it gave you a configuration utility which did you could give it a key ID you can you could set all the options up and I guess that would be via the, the parallel port yeah so very interesting very interesting. I have no idea what I'd use it for. I sort of thought maybe I'll set up a low power TV signal from the house to the to the office or verse vice, but uh, you know, what on earth is that for? In the day and age of uh, internet video, you know, everything I need that I can send from the house to the office I can do over IP addresses. So it's like, what is the point of that? So kind of a bit of a dinosaur, I guess, unless of course you have to send things over a long distance and you can't have anything too highly complicated. Um, then this would be the answer. So very interesting. Do you know of somewhere where this sort of system is still being employed? That is not uh, obviously top secret. <laughs> uh, I'd love to hear from you. Well, that's how from AV Transfer showing you an interesting thing this morning. I hope it's been fun for you to watch. It's been fun for me to make it, and it's actually the first time I've tested this goodie. Let me see if there's any heat coming off this. Very, almost nothing. There's your parallel port, so if you want to configure this, um, very interesting. I, I think they specialize, this company specializes in sort of um, cameras and CCTV and that kind of thing. But this is just a very interesting find, because I, I'm still very fascinated by the era of of uh, video encryption decryption now I suppose the other question one could ask is if you recorded something onto a video tape in that format could you hand it to somebody else and they could play it back through the decoder and watch it the other way around I don't think with traditional analog video but maybe something like mini DV would do it or um, digibeta something like that that's an experiment for another time. Anywho, thank you for watching. And remember to subscribe. I'm always going to try and find interesting, cool stuff like this. Uh, it's Howard from avtransfers.co.uk saying bye for now. Hi, this is Howard of avtransfers.co.uk for all your digitizing needs. Ha cha cha cha. No, I'm just kidding. Please like and subscribe, and uh, we'll have lots of interesting new videos for you. Not just about video stuff, but all sorts of cool stuff that's interesting to both me and I'm sure to many of you out there. So have a happy, ciao for now, don't stray, or go away. One, two, okay, I had to switch off the sound uh, because, of course, it is, uh, mm -hmm. copyright, copyright, oh yeah, you can't do the copyright. Submarines, I'll give you the sound. In the harbor, incognito. You see, you won't. Submarines, the day of your dreams, not mine. Yeah. Dude, what a brilliant song this is. This is Captain Sensible and um, the red, red sky. <sighs> something, something, something is giving to the people blah blah now why am i showing you this as an added bonus well let's scramble it let's scramble it baby doesn't that give you mtv uh, 1990s vibes that gives me mtv 1990s vibes in a big way i'm glad it's all over now this must be some kind of interesting housekeeping stuff but still don't think it's teletext i just love that so yeah just the final little piece i wanted to um, put some video through it, you know, 
not just show you um, rubbish um, test patterns. And there it is. Uh, switch off the encoder, you'll see what you're actually looking at. There we go. I plug in the decoder, but it's just going to do exactly the same thing as we're seeing now. Just showing you some of my um, cartoons that I keep for the kids. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, do that. There we go. What have we got there? We have got Garfield and Friends. And then uh, let's just put... Oh, it's blanking a bit. Let's scramble Garfield and Friends. Wow, there you go. Just doesn't it take you back? It takes me back. Maybe it's just for for electronic nerds like me who get excited about that type of stuff. But I just love the idea that I could broadcast that signal and totally irritate people. <laughs> and they'd say, hell yeah, what's this? Are we going back to the 1990s? Yeah, no, I'm not going to transmit that. But, you know, the mind wanders sometimes. Um, so lots, lots of interesting goodies like this also kicking around in the office, ex-broadcast stuff that I've picked up. This is not an, um, a Sky encoder. I'm, I'm sure those things were pretty hectic. This is just a very modest um, version of it, but a very much a real-time encoder, which I just love. I think that's great, you know. It's, it's incredible that that picture, just by cutting the lines and rotating them in a random format, is destroying any vague chance of watching it. Anyway, that's just an add-on bonus. Ciao for now.